Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm going to try on my very first wig. I've never owned a wig before, but I finally got one because I'm tired of looking at everyone changing up their look like no big deal all the time. And I haven't done that, so I wanted to give wigs a try. Now, some of you probably don't even recognize me without my big curly hair, but to prove it to you, I have pineapple earrings on, and I got this one little curl sticking out right here so you know it's me. Now this video is going to be pretty much an unboxing and a first impressions of this wig straight out the box, my first time putting it on. You guys are going to see it happen live. Now the wig that I got is from wowafrican.com. It came in this little box. Wow African is a really popular wig company that you've probably seen all over YouTube. I'm sure your favorite YouTubers have rocked their wigs before. And now it's my turn. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what's inside. There's a little Wow African pamphlet. And oh, would you look at that? Some of your favorite YouTubers are right there on the front. I see Alyssa Forever, I see Raven Elise. They pretty much inspired me to even try wigs because they change out their wigs all the time and it always looks amazing. So let's see how it works for me. Um, this actually is a cute little pamphlet with hair care tips. So it tells you how to co-wash the hair, how to blow dry it, how to protect it from the heat, how to properly deep condition. Really good styling important tips for us beginners to know when you first get a wig. There is this little band of elastic. Don't exactly know what this is. Like I said, I'm new to this, so if you know, leave me a comment, let me know what I'm supposed to do with the elastic. I'm assuming if something doesn't fit right, you could change the elastic band? I don't know. We'll get back to that. So now let's get to the actual wig. I decided to get their item number LFW07. I'll put all the information below, of course. I got the color natural and the hair length is 18 inches. So I actually got a long, straight wig. And here is how it looks. Yes, length for days. This is 18 inches, and this is a lace front wig, as you can see right there. And the very popular thing about this wig is that it has a pre-plucked hairline. So I guess usually girls have to go in and kind of pluck a more natural hairline, but now this company has made it like their standard for their wigs, so it looks more natural at the hairline. Uh, it also has some lace on the back like this, and we are going to cut this off. We are not gonna rock this with a piece of lace on our head, so I'm going to do that for you guys. And on the inside, it has these little clips. So these clips are gonna help lock it into our actual hair so we're not slipping and sliding all over the place. All right, I'm excited. I want to cut this lace so I can see how it looks. I need some scissors. Now I'm gonna use some regular scissors to cut off the lace if you have those really nice hair type scissors. I'm sure that would be a lot better, but this is all I have, so we're gonna have to make it work. Let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna cut this ever so gently. I am kind of nervous. I don't wanna cut off any of the hair. So, like I said, this is my first time. We gonna see. Okay, so here is my line. It's kind of, you know, not the straightest line, a little crooked, but then again, you know, our scalp isn't exactly a perfect straight line either. I did make it cleaner off camera because I realized it was easier to cut if I had the wig actually on my lap, really close up so I can get in there instead of trying to film on this camera. But we're gonna do the same thing to the back, which should be a little bit easier because one, no one's gonna see it. It's underneath all the hair and we're just probably gonna be able to cut straight across. Oh yeah, there's no hairline. It's a lot less intimidating as I cut all the hair off. Ta-da! Now all the lace is off. All right, so now that we cut off the lace, we can start putting it on. So I'm starting off with my hair completely flat. I already laid down my edges to make them look natural. And I just have these two braids kind of pinned up. I didn't film my whole 
how to prep for a wig because I'm new to this. I'm not gonna act like I know what I'm doing and like try to teach you guys when this is my first time. So we'll see how I did with this and if it works, I will do a how to prepare your hair before a wig video. But for now, this is what I'm working with and I got a wig cap from Wild Beauty Supply. Uh, this one is like a netted one, which I've heard is better to, so you could put the clips in your hair. And this was like a couple bucks. So this one is black. All the bling on my nails is getting stuck in this net. <laughs> oh, you don't think about those things. All right, that feels nice and tight and secure. And we're not gonna cover all of our hair in the front because we're gonna use that to be visual. Okay, now that my wig cap is completely on, let's put on the wig. So I'm gonna flip my head over and kind of clip it in the back and then we're gonna pull it forward. Now I'm gonna try to find the clips and clip them under my hair and flip. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, snaps. I've not had long hair, let alone straight hair in a while. Now, all right, the first thing that I do know about wearing a wig is that you don't wanna just bring it all the way to the front because then it looks not really natural. So we're gonna bring it back a little. And I already parted my hair in a middle part. So now it matches up a little bit better. So for just being able to throw it on, it does look really good already. But let me get a little closer. What we don't want is to be able to see this line right here now. So I'm gonna try to blend this in and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got some black eyeshadow and I kind of like went over the lace part so it wasn't so beige. And I also put some concealer in my part and I think it looks pretty good. I definitely need some practice. I know it's not perfect, so I didn't do a tutorial on how to make it look natural because I'm still learning. But for my first time, I must say, this looks pretty legit. Why do we ever straighten our hair? Like, why would we go through all the hours of straightening our hair, damaging our hair, when we could just throw on a wig and look just as ballin', if not better. Like when I straighten my hair, it doesn't look this good. And now I could just throw it on? Yo, I've been sleeping on the wig game. Now this wig is a Yaki hair wig. So this hair is a little bit more thick and a little bit more coarse than maybe a silky straight hair. So if you get the silky straight, that would be like Asian straight. And this hair is supposed to be more like black hair straight. So if I straighten my natural curly hair, it would be more like this texture. So I've never tried this texture, so I wanted to see how it looked and felt. And even though it's a little bit more coarse, I guess, it still is really, really straight. And I think it looks really natural. Wild African Wigs has so many different options to choose from. It was so hard for me to decide on what type of wig I wanted, but just know that they have short bobs, they have really long ones, they have colored ombres, they have full color, they have curly. Any type of texture you want, they pretty much have it. The only reason I didn't go with a curly wig, which I would recommend, is because obviously I do love my natural curl texture and now that I just cut it and colored it, like I'm really happy with the length and the shape and everything. So I don't wanna get a wig that was comparable to what I already rock, but if I got a straight wig, now I have a completely different look than my curly hair so I can switch back and forth without having to straighten my hair. You guys know I'm very against straightening your curls because you are going to ruin them. But now you can get that straight look if you really, really want it and just throw on a wig. And wigs are obviously another one of those great protective styling for our natural curly hair. I actually applied coconut oil to my natural hair before I even put it under the wig. So my hair is just juicing right now in coconut oil. It's having a great time under here. So there you go, this is my long, yaki, straight 18 inch wig from Wild African Hair. I think it looks so good and I'm never straightening my hair ever again. I mean, why? Why? 
Now, if you are considering getting a wig of your own and just making the great investment, I would definitely recommend WowAfrican.com. As you can see, their wigs look and feel great. Everything looks really natural. And I also have a promo code so you guys can get $15 off your order. And the best thing about them is if you spend over $89, you get free shipping. I hate paying for shipping. And if you're gonna buy a good wig, it's probably gonna be more than that, so you should be good and you're gonna get that free shipping. So there is my unboxing and my first impression of my first wig ever from wowafrican.com. I obviously have a lot to learn and some practice to do, but once I get it mastered, I will definitely be making more videos to help you guys figure out how to wear and slay your wigs. If you are a beginner like me and you don't wanna worry about trying to match up your hairline and baby hairs, I would definitely recommend getting a wig that has bangs, because if they have bangs, you have nothing to worry about. It's gonna be easy to just plop on and not have to do any type of special matching techniques. Or when in doubt, you always could just throw on a hat and then you don't have to worry about any hairline. Before you go, I ask that you please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.